So in today's video, I want to show you how hard it is to actually work in PVC, Schedule 40 PVC. It is not the pipe to use for rainwater drainage, even though there's a few channels out there that talk about this and use this exclusively. It is ridiculous in cost. I mean, what, 10 feet of it's what, $69? I mean, it's almost what, $7 a foot? That's just crazy. There is much better material available. Thin wall PVC like this works exactly the same. This is perforated pipe. You could get this in solid as well. Corrugated pipe. It works great. There's nothing wrong with that material at all. So let's install some catch basins onto Schedule 40 PVC and you can see how much work it really is. We start by cutting off the sod. Just remove it. We need a pretty good area to work, so we need to have a little bit more room than you think. And right here is our schedule 40. We need to expose this entire area. The next thing I like to use is just a kick sod cutter. If you don't know what this is, it's just like a machine, but you can actually kick this thing. It's going to cut a really nice piece of sod, roll it up, set it off to the side. This is available at most good tool rental places. Works really good. Just kick it. You can see it just takes that sod right off. Then you can just roll it up. And set it out of the way. So now we've got a good area to dig and work in right here. Makes it really simple. So we've got our sod removed. Let's go ahead and dig this a little bit wider because we need a lot of room to work here. So remember, this is going to be a really tight fit. It's got to fit directly onto this uh, other piece of Schedule 40 down here. Okay, here's our fitting. And you can see we're going to actually install a drain coming from that direction over this way. So we need to make a cut on the inside of this coupling to these marks right here. So let's go ahead and do that. Make a mark. Now you could use a hacksaw and I'm going to use a hacksaw just to show you. But if you have, if you have a reciprocating saw, it's much better. <laughs> The secret to using that saw is you cut clean through. In other words, you cut all the way through and don't stop. But if you have a reciprocating saw, it's a lot easier. So it looks like we're going to make a measurement right here. But in fact, we're going to make the measurement to cut through back here just a little ways. And I'll show you why in just a second. So we're going to cut it on that C. Perfect, perfect. Clean off these little burrs that are all around the edges. And we need to make this just a little bit wider. So let's widen it up. Now 
Now we can slide the no hub over the top of the schedule 40 and push it all the way back. We need enough room to be able to put this piece of this fitting down onto the next pipe. We can hook that right up. Perfect. Now we need a measurement to go from the end of this PVC to inside of this piece right here. This is the tough part. Let's get that measurement. I like to just use my saw and cut off a little piece. Looks like it's gonna be right there by the end. Let's cut that off. Clean off the burrs. Now we've got to lift this pipe to get this piece in here. Let's lift it up. It's heavy. And get this piece inside <clears throat> until it drops directly in spot, in line, until it drops directly in line with your no hub. And then you can slide your no hub over this fitting. Kind of hard to get started. But once you do, you've got that. <clears throat> now you can tighten it up. And <clears throat> we've got a really tight connection right there. So we'll widen this up a little bit so that we can add our section of pipe to this and we'll be able to tie right into this drain. Okay, first let's go ahead and set up the big 12 by 12 and this is just a small demonstration, but hook up your PVC. This is Schedule 40 PVC. You can see it snaps, snaps right into that adapter. And we're just going to hook it up into this T that we just installed. So you can see we're at proper grade. Here's the lowest portion of the yard. We're just below the top of grade so that when we put all this back and sod back on the top water will run across the yard drop into the system come over to the pipe and be carried away so what about the little six by six how are we going to fit that on there let's take this off so i'm just showing you a double outlet we there's single outlets as well schedule 40 pvc it snaps right in place the same as the other one. Snaps in place, goes into the pipe. And we can use our adapter and we can cut that off to any grade that we want. We could use an atrium grate to put on the top, or we could use the regular black or green grate. They have green grates as well. Let's go ahead and make a cut here so you can see how easy this is. We have perfect fall coming from all directions into that basin. So again, when you set your catch basin, make sure it has good fall from all directions. Water drops into the basin, goes over to the main line and is carried away. So if you're unlucky enough to have Schedule 40 as your downspout drain, hopefully I've showed you how to cut the pipe, add the T, add the catch basin. Remember, Schedule 40 is not the pipe to use for rainwater drainage. It's designed for sewer and drain, not rainwater drainage. And it's so expensive. You know, at least three or four times a week, I receive a phone call or an email that is talking about their drainage problem and how no one will even show up to do the job. No one will come out and actually do the work to solve the problem because they don't know how. They always refer, they say, you should try Apple Drains. And you know, of course, they might be in Seattle, but they still call and we have live help available. You've probably seen the ads. Live help works really good. But it's not the same as having me come out personally on the job site and 
can solve. And whether you're in, no matter where you live in the world, it's well worth it to hire a consultant, especially somebody like me with 35 years experience, 100% success rate on every install. The money that you'll save by having a consultant on your job, if you have that problem where nobody else will touch the job, and these are usually uh, homes that are 100 plus years, historical homes, or maybe they're a new build and the builder just won't come back and consult, you'll try to do anything. But it's well worth it, and I promise you that I'll save you money no matter how you look at it. Even with travel, hotel, fees, and my daily fee, you'll still save money. Hey everybody, Nash and Joe with the Tampa Drain Dudes. We are incredibly excited to announce that we are now partnered with Apple Drains. And what that means is that we are going to be taking over all of their clientele in this Tampa Bay area, which also includes... We're going to go as far north as Brooksville, we're going to go as far east as Lakeland, and south as South Tampa, St. Petersburg area. If the job is the right size and we really need to help our clients out, we'll go a little bit more north, a little bit more east, and a little bit more south, just depending on what you guys' needs are. Joe, you got anything to add? We're going to cover all exterior drainage that you may need, French drains, sump pumps, channel drains, gutter downspout redirection, all that good stuff. So check us out, tampadraindudes.com. We are incredibly happy and thankful for this experience to partner with Chuck from Apple Drains. And we look forward to this relationship. All right, guys, remember, Tampa Drain Dudes are simply smarter at diverting water. Hey, this is Chuck with Apple Drains, reminding you that if you believe you can do something, I guarantee you can do it. Have a great day.